Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus. Hello and welcome to Climate Now, our unique monthly update on what's really happening to our planet. Coming up in the programme, we're reporting from Romania on the link between biodiversity and climate change, with projects to build bridges for bears and bring back bison. I think in a couple of years we will see clearly how actually a bison can help an area to tackle climate changes. But first let's check the latest data from the Copernicus Climate Change Service. We have a new high yet again as it was the warmest September on record worldwide with temperatures more than 0.6 degrees Celsius above the 1981 to 2010 average. If we have a look at the map of surface air temperature anomaly then everywhere on this map in pink and red was warmer than average in September. There was a record breaking warm spell in France, a new temperature records for September in Turkey, Israel and Jordan. It was also warmer than average average in the Arctic and in parts of Antarctica. Now if we switch over to this graph we can see the long-term picture as this shows the monthly global surface air temperature anomalies since 1979 and there that warming trend is very clear. Now the other key climate change indicator we often look at in September is Arctic sea ice extent when it's normally at its lowest. And here you can see this area around Siberia was particularly affected and overall in the Arctic sea ice concentration was 40% below average in September. And now to our report on efforts to boost biodiversity to better cope with climate change. And there are projects underway across Europe to preserve ecosystems and make them more robust in the face of a warming planet. Our correspondent Marijan Eon set off for the Carpathian Mountains in Western Romania to find out more. This is a bridge built for bears. It's also used by wolves, lynxes, deer and wild boar to cross a new road from one habitat to another. Christian Remus Papp is part of several EU projects like this to preserve ecosystems to better tackle climate change. The modern history in terms of uh, developing sustainable infrastructure starts here because this is really the first bridge ever built in Romania for uh, large carnivores and other animals. The bridge is wide, 80 metres across in fact, but that's how big they have to be for bears. If it's large enough, the, the bear will still, you know, stay in the area for a little while. We'll observe, you know, all the movements and so on. And when he considers that it's safe, then he will cross. The function of the bridges is to avoid the fragmentation of wild areas and allow animals to move more freely, avoiding humans. Building them is an investment, but it does create an ecosystem that's more resistant to the effects of climate change. The other big biodiversity effort underway here is to reintroduce wild European bison, which can create habitats for hundreds of other species. Marina Druga oversees the project. There are a lot of studies showing that the bi bringing a bison in an ecosystem actually it's creating it's creating more uh, suitable condition for other species like wolves. Uh, bears, uh, lynx, also a lot of uh, other uh, invertebrate species. So uh, basically bringing bison, we can increase a lot uh, our uh, biodiversity in the area. Biodiversity is gravely threatened by climate change, but conversely, a more interconnected and diverse animal population can help to limit the effects of global warming. We cannot stop climate change, that's, that's for sure, unless we, we stop our you know, everyday business, but that's not really likely to, to happen. So what we can do is to build resilience. If we are um, helping the ecosystem to be uh, healthy enough and mature enough in order to uh, at least uh, reduce the impact of climate change, then the better for us. Well, that's all we have time for. You can read more about the links between biodiversity and climate change and see all the data presented in this programme on our website, euronews.com slash climate now. And I'll see you next time. Climate Now, in collaboration with Copernicus.